Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys, and today we've got an amazing and easy to use Town Hall 16 attack strategy. We're going to check out some replays in just a moment. First of all, let's have a quick look at the army composition. So two super wall breakers, five healers, two baby dragons, two electro titans, six root riders, two minions including Michael the minion, one headhunter, and one apprentice warden. Spell is going to be five rage, two freeze, an invisibility spell, and a poison spell, clan council troops, two yetis inside the battle blimp or log launcher with some other troops as well. Hero equipment, the main thing that I've changed, guys, we've got the giant gauntlet on the king and the healing tome on the grand warden. Normal default hero equipment will be okay. So let's check out some replays now. So through the clouds we go. Now, guys, the first stage of the attack is going to be scouting out the enemy base and deciding where you're going to start your queen walk. Your queen walk will be the queen, five healers and apprentice warden. So have a look at the base. You don't want to send your queen in an area that it's going to be really difficult and she might get taken out. You want to try and keep things easy. Saying that, I've gone for the most difficult corner of the base here. So here we go. The Queen, the Unicorn, five healers, and the Apprentice Warden. We've got loads of rage spells to help the Queen out. Obviously, watch out for enemy heroes, single target infernos, the monolith, and things like that. We've got two super wall breakers as well. You'll see the professional players or the very good players having loads of super wall breakers. I've tried to simplify the queen walk root rider attack for a bit more of a spam attack to make it easier for the casual player like me. Not too many troops. So the queen's doing a great job there. Try and think where she's going to walk towards because that's where you're going to send in your super wall breaker to open up the compartments. We're doing okay now. Got a rage spell there. Invisibility spell, a sort of backup emergency plan if you need it. Now we're going to send the king on the right hand side as well. He's going to help funnel and he's got loads of health there on the right hand side. He's got the phoenix as well, the giant gauntlet. So he should be able to take out a lot of the right hand side of the base. Now we've got the queen into that compartment there. Hopefully she can take out the eagle artillery. And then what you need to start thinking about now, guys, is you've sort of got rid of that corner of the base, the bottom segment. Then it's going to be sending in your root riders either to the right or to the left with the Grand Warden and the Battle Blimp to take out the Town Hall. Now, we're taking out those ice golems as well. The king's helping out as well. Thanks, king. But he's going to get taken out. And now the main attack on the right-hand side. I would normally say the Battle Blimp is better than the Log Launcher, but I don't know if I didn't have a Battle Blimp on this base so I went with the Log Launcher because if you send in the Battle Blimp through the Grand Warden's ability, it will reach the Town Hall and take it out. Keep your army away from the Town Hall and that Poison Bomb. So yeah, I definitely go with the Battle Blimp if you can. Just watch out for Air Sweepers. Like I said, on this attack, I don't think I had one or I decided the Log Launcher might be better, which I don't think it would be better. Anyway, the Queen's doing a good job there now taking out the Town Hall. Keep an eye on the Queen, of course. Keep her alive on the battlefield. And then it's about sending in your Royal Champion look for where it's safe have the royal champion with the spirit fox if you can root rider attacks are the best attacks at town hall 15 and 16 definitely guys but you'll notice a lot of the top players are using some sort of queen walk with root rider so i thought yeah let's try and make a simple version you don't want 500 troops to keep scrolling through because if i do that at the end of the battle i've still got about 10 troops left i'm thinking no oh, i didn't see them there anyway there's michael the minion if you don't know who he is he's just the most powerful troop in clash of clans and we're going to get three stars yes so this does need a bit more skill than your regular spam attack just drop the root riders down go make a drink of water or something yeah guys you've got to think about this attack a little bit more because you've got to look after your queen so on this base let's have a look i don't really like going for the town hall here because there's three four expos ready and waiting but on the right hand side looks okay wouldn't mind taking out the enemy queen obviously the enemy queen is a priority you've got the baby dragons as well they're there for funneling so we're going to use a baby dragon on the left hand side and here we go we're going to try and send in the queen into that right hand compartment there's the healers you might want to take a balloon to check for traps but i, I don't guys i want to keep it even simpler than that then a wall breaker opening up that compartment baby dragon on the right to help funnel the queen into there and now look after your queen with those rage spells on the healers and the queen if things get too bad You've got that invisibility spell, guys. That's your emergency backup spell. We've taken out the enemy queen, taken out the scatter shot, and now we're sending in the king on the right-hand side to help out. Here, do some damage over there. And now I'm thinking, where will I send in the root riders? I haven't really done a very good funnel. But hopefully, if they take out that top compartment where the king's in, then we're sending the root riders just above that on the left-hand side of the base. And ideally, 
with the log launcher or battle blimp battle blimp again guys would be the best plan here but it obviously depends sometimes you've got air sweepers pointing the opposite way you want to watch out for those with your battle blimp you've got a free spell to help out as well the king's doing okay over there and now again we're going to send in the root riders there we go so that right hand side of the base has been funneled so the root riders are now moved through the left hand side of the base towards the town hall with the grand warden you've got the electro titans as well send them in they're good for taking out enemy clan castle troops brilliant and we're sending in the battle blimp this time yes finally moose you're doing it right then use the grand warden ability watch out for the air sweeper and the grand warden ability will obviously heal those troops as well if you've got the healing tome then a rage spell on the town hall and if in any doubt of those yetis taking out the town hall use a free spell to help them out there we go and guys if i'm honest if, if your queen sort of stays in the battle at the beginning your root riders are sent in your battle blimp takes out the town hall i think you've got a good chance of doing really well hopefully getting three stars because root riders are so amazing your queen's really powerful you've got the royal champion to help at the end of the attack yeah, I found this really, really powerful. And it's good as well, guys. If you don't really use Queen Walk attacks, I think this is a fantastic attack to start learning. Because a lot of the top players obviously use Queen Walk attacks. And guys, I think we need to learn these sorts of attacks. And that's what I'm trying to show you on this channel. Easy to use spam attacks, guys, that make us into better players. So do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus Army for more videos like this. So let's have a look on this base. I think I've decided I want to go in towards that Inferno Tower there. So there we go. But now, of course, if you just leave your queen, she'll go on the outside of the base. So this is where we need to do some funneling to get her into the compartment. And that's where the baby dragon and the king can help. Or baby dragons and kings can help. Kings? Only one. You know what I mean, guys. So there we go. Super Wall Breaker opening up that first wall layer. Baby dragon doing a great job. And we now know the queen's going to move into that compartment. Keep it as simple as possible. Don't make funneling difficult, guys. Just use the baby dragon and the king if you need to you've got a headhunter as well and of course guys remember to send in your apprentice warden with the queen i've forgotten on this base this just shows you how bad i am i always forget things guys i forget to send in the apprentice warden i forget to send in the headhunter yeah so guys it doesn't matter if you make mistakes just try and keep your queen in the battle use those rage spells and the apprentice warden and headhunter against enemy heroes king on the right hand side again he's going to help with funneling doing lots of damage over there use his ability thank you run oh no that's not good yeah king get into the yeah into the base please not on the outside thank you so the queen's doing okay here and now i'm thinking where do we send in the root riders I mean, on the left-hand side there, yeah, that looks okay. And hopefully we've got a battle blimp. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And the Electro Titans, like I said before, guys, they're really important as well for helping the main army move through the base. Skeleton traps, things like that. They're great at taking those out. There we go. Send in the battle blimp. Use the Grand Warden ability. Again, use a rage spell on the town hall and those free spells to watch out for any kind of air sweepers and to help take out the town hall if it's got lots of nasty defenses. Now, on this base, unfortunately... The battle blimp struggled. I think there was a tornado trap there. So that didn't exactly go to plan. And our root riders are trying to take out the town hall, which means when the town hall is taken out, they can go through that poison cloud, which is not good. But this attack so strong, we should still be okay, guys. The queen's still there. We've got Mike the Minion to send onto the battlefield. And the royal champion is fantastic as well, especially with the spirit fox. So guys, yeah. If you're looking, you're probably using a root rider attack at Town Hall 16. So if you're looking for something a bit different that I think takes it to the next level of skill and power, I think root rider with a queen walk is the way to go. The most important part of the attack is deciding where to send in your queen at the beginning. Don't send her into an area that you think that, well, there's a lot of defenses there because you don't want the queen to get taken out. You want it easy ish that you know the queen's got a good chance of getting in there and doing some damage so there we go guys hope you enjoyed the video today remember on this channel we do have something called a creator code that's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code our code is code moose any support would be amazing and remember to practice your funneling bye